here's an interesting one for you I've just bought these at auction but they don't work on our new modern systems let's see if I can convert them Right, well here we go, I've got one, two, three, four old British uh, GPO telephones here. Again, they're all in pretty nice condition. Someone's gone to the trouble of putting the modern type flexes on them, but the trouble is, although they work, they knock out my broadband. Uh, they lower the, um, the, the broadband rate, so there is a problem with them. And I've done a little bit of research on them. Basically, whoever's put the new cords on them, hasn't actually converted the telephones themselves so I've done a bit of research and I found out what equipment is needed or what connections need to be altered for these to be converted so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to convert them and then we're going to sell them because I paid for this whole lot of phones I paid 20 pounds and they're worth probably about 25 pounds each so that's 25 50 75 there's a hundred pounds there and I've also got this one which is a trim phone or a trip phone it makes a totally different noise and it's more of a sort of phone noise so that's that as well that i don't know where that commands maybe again about 25 quid so i'm hoping to turn a 20 pound investment into probably about 125 pounds i've invested some money in some new stuff for some of these because some of the leads are actually broken and i've actually gone out and brought this one for example this blue one someone's fitted an old gray lead to it as you can see there well, I've spent uh, $3.99 and I've actually bought a brand new uh, blue lead. Plus, I've got two other cream leads as well because the other two at the back here have got uh, grey leads fitted to them. So I've just bought two cream leads as well. I've had to buy a, a component for them, which is a 330 kilo ohm resistor. I brought a pack of 10 of them resistors. That cost me 99 pence. And the rest is just ordering connections because the other component needed is actually inside these phones. So let's take the cover off of one and let's have a look at what we've got and I'll show you what I've got to do to actually convert these phones to get them to work on a modern system. Right, okay, so initially let's start with this blue phone for the simple reason that I'm going to change the, uh, the flex on anyway. So if we look underneath the phone, uh, this is a basic GPO and this one is called the, uh, the uh, 746 phone. So it's a basic GPO phone and as I say, this, this, this flex originally would have hardwired into a box on the wall but as you can see someone's actually gone to the trouble of putting a new flex on it and it's got the old plug-in uh, adapter which you just go into your normal socket now this actually phone does work on the new system but as i said the trouble is it produces problems and it cuts my broadband uh, down to half so so i'm going to start by taking the back off these phones and the way you do normally what you've got with these phones is one screw in the center there but you've also got the uh, power cord normally is on the left hand side and the earpiece and mouthpiece cord is normally on the right hand side sometimes people reverse these but that's the normal way they've, that they're installed so and all you do to actually get to the innards of the phone is undo this screw now this screw is actually spring loaded it's got a spring behind it so you just undo it until it springs out there's a little spring there and that is all you need to do and it's then best to put your hand on the phone there just push the dial a little bit and lift up there and as you can see the top comes off and if we actually take a closer look at this phone this is what we're left with inside we've got the flex which we've got to change here so this is the only cord that we're really interested in uh, getting rid of and putting a new cord on but the conversion means altering a few things now I've noticed in this phone between terminals T1 and T2 there it's got this little uh, connecting uh, thing in there this is uh, a, a rectifier and what this basically does it stops if there's any current surge on the line of your phone it stops the popping and crackling and going through your ears or damaging your ears so that's what that's for this is already fitted to this phone so that's okay some of these phones might not have these fitted in which case it's two diodes which are back to back connected back to back across these terminals but if you don't know about that there are you can buy these um, uh, off of eBay for example or online somewhere so the first thing to do is literally just to remove 
the old flex. So we've got this white cable here, which is onto T terminal T19. Again, you haven't got to take these right away. Just half a turn and undo. Uh, we've got a blue cable which goes one, two, three, onto the fourth terminal along the top from the left. I'm going to undo that half a turn, remove that one. We've got a green cable which goes onto terminal T11, which is there. Half a turn and undo. And finally, there's a red cable which goes onto terminal T8 at the top there. And just pull that out there. All you need to do then. It's just to remove the old cable, and it's as simple as that. Now we've got to have a look here, and uh, put a little resistor in here, and also check some other connections, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you what we're going to do now to convert this. Right, well looking at this actual phone, someone's actually moved a terminal which they needed to move. When you first take yours off, if, you've got, if you find a phone with an old lead on it, as I said, without the new end, what you would have had, you would have had let me put it back to as it was, as it should be, when you find these phones. To find an unconverted phone, you would have this sort of layout. Basically, you'd have this little link strap between terminals T8 and T9. And what you would do, someone had already done it in this phone, as I've just shown you. What you would do, you would half turn on that screw, half turn on that screw, remove the strap from between T8 and T9, as I've just shown you and reinstall it between T17 and T18 which is them two straps there someone had already done it on this phone so that's what they had done there and then you would just then just tighten the terminals back up again like that so I've basically removed a link from T8 to T9 and I've put it in between T17 and T18 so basically if you look down this line they're all linked together so that's what we'd end up with there that's the first part of the conversion right the other com uh, component this is where we need to add the resistor we've got to remove one of these links and the links we remove is the link that is in between T4 and T5 so if you go that is T1 there T2 T3 T4 and T5 so there's a little link that goes between T4 and T5 well we need to remove that and we're going to put our resistor across that link so let me just undo that so half a turn there half a turn there and this should just drop out like that. There, there we go. So that's the link out between T4 and T5. Now, again, you can throw that away if you want, but if you want to keep the phone original and you want to keep it in there, just stick it under one of these pair of terminals. As you see, we've got a link, that, that one we just put in there. You can just undo that if you want and just drop it under there as well if you want, under that terminal. Just as it's because it's an original link, just stick it under there. That just saves you throwing it away and it keeps the phone original with all its parts. So all I'm going to do now is to get my little resistor from my pack of 10 which I brought, which cost me 99 pence. And as I say, this is a 330 ohm, kilo ohm resistor. And all I'm going to do is to install that between terminals T4 and T5 and then just bend it like that. So basically what I've done there, as you can see, I've just, I don't know if you can see that, can you? There you go, there you can see it. I've just basically put two little bends in the end there, uh, two little loops so that they will go under uh, the terminal. So I'm just going to fit them there. Okay, so basically under, I don't know whether you can see that at all, terminals one, two, three, between terminals four and five, I've just installed that little resistor where that link used to be. Right, okay, now it's time to fit our new flex. Again, this cost me £3.99 off of eBay. It's a brand new blue flex, ready to go on. Exactly the same coloured wires. Again, as you can see, a brand new socket on one end and our little rubber grommet there that fits into the foam slips into the side of the phone as you can see like that and it's now just a matter of connecting these four wires up to our phone the first one I'm going to connect is going to be the blue cable now the blue cable goes on to terminal T6 so again count along from the top from T1 2 3 4 5 T6 so it's half a turn on T6 and just slide that cable underneath and do it back up again 
and that's the first one. The second one goes on to terminal T8 and that's the red cable. So that's two along from there, so T6, T7, T8. I'm going to stick that under there, that's the red cable. Do that one up. Now the white cable wants to go on terminal T16. So if we look at the end cable, the end terminal on your left right hand side, it says T19, so that's T18, T17, T16. But if you remember correctly, there's T19, T18, T17, T16. Basically all these four cables via this link are all connected. So technically speaking, you can just stick this on, onto any one of these four cables because they're all linked anyway. So I'm going to do that. That's the white cable. So I'm going to half turn on that one and just stick it under there. There we go. And do it back up again. And the last one is uh, our green cable. And that is basically an earth, uh, a spare cable. And just for the purpose of connecting it, they do provide you with some spare terminals on here. And one of those spare terminals is terminal 15. So if we go to T19, 18, 17, 16, terminal 15, which is up right under there, it doesn't do anything but I'm just going to tidy the cable up by putting it on there and then just doing that terminal up so there you have it, our new flex has been connected we've, we're lucky enough so to say if your phone doesn't have one of these little basically it's a rectifier between terminals T1 and T2 the phone will still work but that is just basically to protect the line from popping and crackling if the line gets a, a current surge on it so you can find these little uh, diode packs on on eBay and uh, or if there's plenty of websites on e on YouTube where they've done these conversions so but our phone already had that installed so all that we've basically done is we moved the link from here between 7 T7 and T8 and we put it down here between T18 and T17 we put a link in there we've put a resistor in between terminals 1 2 3 between terminals T4 and T5 that's a 330 kilo ohm resistor and we removed the link that was already between T4 and T5 and we've basically connected our flex up to the way I've just told you so technically speaking now we've just converted this phone so I'm just going to put the cover back on I'll just tight make sure all these other terminals are tight while I'm here and don't forget this is for pure information only I'm not expecting anyone to put their hands in the phone I'm just showing you what I'm doing basically this phone slightly very slightly because this one's actually got uh, a switch on the front here I don't know if you can see that where you can actually turn the ringer off normally they don't come with this but this one's got that modification anyway but you just get that little lip under the front there under the gap at the front and basically just drop it back in place and do up the spring on the cable at the back and there we have it one phone with the brand new flex on it with the new connection on the end and let's go and give it a go right here's an old uh, phone socket which we got here but don't forget because we've got broadband pitted you have to have one of these uh, ASDL adapters uh, in uh, plugged into your actual phone socket on the wall there as you can probably see over there so you basically plug your telephone if you've got a broadband connection into the ASDL socket that's basically a filter which we have to have on every appliance that we plug into the phone line and plug that into the wall. Right, well I'm going to try. I'm going to try on the phone now on my mobile, my home number. Right, well my, I haven't got no network on my mobile, believe it or not. So I'm going to phone Tracy on the actual new phone and get her to phone me back. This is how it used to be the old dial, you remember? I've just found her mobile number. It's ringing. Oh, can't do answer phone. Typical. <laughs> can't believe it, can you? Right, let's go back and let's try and phone them using my mobile to phone me home number again. I've got no service on my mobile. I live in this house and I've got no service. Oh, there we go. There we go, listen to that. Hello? 
Yeah, that's me. How about that? Fantastic. So it, it does work fine. So all I'm going to do now is to go and do a broadband speed check while this is plugged in and see if it's affected me broadband speed. So I'm going to do that now. So here we are. Here's the broadband speed test, which I'm just about to do. I'm going to start the speed test. And I should have about 30 odd megabytes. That's what I've been getting. Hey, the phone's ringing, look, I can hear it ringing. She's actually phoning. There we go, 37 megabytes. I'm gonna go answer the phone, wait there. Hello? Yes, I did phone you. I wanted you to phone me back to test this new phone out, but you've just done that and it's working fine. See you later. Bye. Do you want to chat? So it works fine, how about that? A broadband speed test is okay at 37.84 download speed and 12.46 upload speed. Now the last time I tried it with this phone, when I plugged it in, the download speed was way right down to, I think it was eight or 10 megabytes. And this went up to, uh, down to something stupid, like 0 0.8, so. So there you go, what a great job. Such a simple thing to convert. And you might find them lying about anywhere. You see them in junk shops, you see them down car boot sales. Don't be frightened if it's got the old lead on it, as I say, the one with just the wire sticking out of it. What I've done is how you convert them, and I'm gonna be selling them pretty soon, once I've uh, done the conversions. Don't take long at all. Easy money, if you know what to look for, and if you know what to do, it is out there, the information. The phone did work before, as I told you, but it affected the broadband. It's not doing that at all now, so that phone is now converted. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I enjoyed doing it. Nice and simple procedure, and it's easy money. See you again in the next video. Thanks for that. Bye for now.